All right, today's fender day. Um, I only have the one polished right now. It's the driver's side. I just did a compound polish on one side of them. So, but I'm taking them both off because I want to get this bumper and this centerpiece off, or the garnish off, so I can paint those this afternoon. I'm just gonna run a quick sanding over them and then paint them. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll have those off sanded i'm waiting for the paint in the mail it should be here within an hour or so once i have those off and sanded i can paint while i'm <coughs> what i'm planning on doing is wiring all the little resistors that i got it's easier to show from this side yeah i'm gonna wire all the little resistors that i have and then um run the wiring back to here which is where the um blinker is so yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be doing some wiring, but for right now, I'm just gonna start cleaning this up. Just wanna get a quick before shot, I guess. All right. Just wanna do a quick little before and after. Pretty sure you can see how this one had a lot of stuff. I don't really wanna pick through it, but a lot of pine needles and whatnot. Typical Northwest, Pacific Northwest fender retention. But uh, yeah, so it's about the shape the other side was in. And just quickly, uh, hit it up with some dollar store grill degreaser. It's a dollar for that big thing. And uh, just kind of wiped it down. Gone as good as I could, just really quick. Hit it with a steel wire brush, got that. I want to hit that with a uh, rubberized coating. But I got a little more cleaning to do in there, and then that'll be. I, mean, I can't believe how clean that is. But yeah, I took the bumper off, got it all cleaned out, got this taken out. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Uh, so yeah, just got that side off. Had a problem with that bolt down there. Remember, kids, if that bolt doesn't come off, it just slides up. There's no clip on there, so if you get the rest of them off, you can just pull it out. It's not all the way around solid like that. All right, back to it. All right, so I think I found what my problem was as far as the uh, <clears throat> power locks and the back rear window. And it's hard to show you with the, you can see the yellow it's like yellow and black, maybe. It's partially broke, but that green and yellow is definitely broken. <clears throat> and that's just from glancing. I just pulled this up, took a quick glance at it. Go to wide angle here. But yeah, you can see where I was running my. So that's part of the reasons I want to do the fender today, is to pull this out. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to clean it up, repin it. I don't know, that's a nightmare. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it one way or another, so it doesn't really matter, but there it is, it caused my problem. Other than that, I got this side cleaned up pretty good. I'm ready to start rolling. Okay, so I'm still patiently waiting for the paint to show up. It's supposed to arrive before 3.15. I don't know what time it is now. They keep changing the time of arrival. I just saw a truck go by. It looked like it could be it, but I don't know if that is. But yeah, so as I'm waiting for the paint for that, those are all freshly sanded, uh, washed off, ready to go. This guy, all right, so I got the mud flap on. I got everything back on. It's pretty easy, just clip, clip for clip, just replace it. I had brand new, uh, I got a bag of these brand new body clips. So I've been using those as opposed to trying to reuse the old ones. Um, this thing right here, the reason I'm shooting this quick little video is because of the inside of that. So, you can see there, and I just have a couple of spliced wires, just remember which one's which. Coming down here, I gave myself lots of room down there for that one. Uh, set that back on there. So yeah, these two wires. Um, the red and black are your parking. Which I have hooked up to um, the halos, angel eyes, or whatever you want to call them. So red and black are parking, and then your black and yellow 
or your black and white. Sorry, your green and white and then black are obviously your blinkers, which come down here and you can see those are kind of your washers are powered off that one as well. And I'm not gonna go take it now, but I'm gonna get some uh, LEDs. I have some inside and replace those with those. It'll just be easier that way. Um, still pretty early, the sun's still nice out, so I'm hoping I can get a couple coats of paint on and throw my bubble. I might just walk to work tomorrow uh, just so I don't have to throw everything back together in a big hurry. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Just wanted to show you quick wiring, waiting on paint stuff, so yada, 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 bang. Alright. So right as I was finishing this up, well, I wouldn't say finishing up by any means, but you can see I got the... Uh, Light show action. Got it up and running. I forgot these are on a negative pulse, so you have to like reverse them. So the ground, the ground wire off of that one is actually goes to a positive, and the white positive actually goes to the ground. I don't know why that is. I think it's our negative pulse systems in the EF Civic. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So as I'm getting that on, I'm just kind of fitting it loosely. I got the. Since I got it wired up and through, as you saw, and I have the liner and the mud flap on there, um, that's where obviously the bumper's gonna go. A few brackets and then work on the other side. But in the meantime, delivery guy came with my paint. So, I got started on these. Um, I don't think they're gonna turn out as good as I want them to. There's a lot of spots, as I'm sure you can see. I can't really see what I'm filming. They're like rough patches from where I went a little rough on the sander and then didn't get it too much. So what I'm trying to do is flood those parts. This is an extreme example of what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna flood those parts and then sand them all down to the same. It's a terrible way of doing it. I should have primed it, sanded it. Terrible way of doing this. Just a waste of time and paint, I think. But we'll see. That's where I'm at. All right, so just got the last put, I think four cans between the two of these. Uh, yeah. Just finished up, you can still see some of the markings there. I am not gonna heat gun these, mainly because I'm just crunched on time. I'm hoping that my Overpainting that is actually above, not under the line. So I did a lot of overpainting. Put layers on. There you can see right there. Just tried to build it up because I'm an idiot and I should have put sandable primer on there first. But I don't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking I was in a hurry. It's all. Anyways, there it is. I'm gonna go back to black in the centerpiece. Probably in the middle. I don't know. Once it's on there, I'll see what it looks like. But. I think I definitely want to go black around this thing to keep the black line. But it's looking good down there. Um, just got done cleaning up the passenger side wheel well. About to put it on. I wish I would have taken a uh, before video. I didn't think it was that bad. It was absolutely terrible. I got this. It was loose and rubbing against the tire one day. So that burnt out. It sucks because these are really nice uh, OEM ones. I'm shocked they're in this good a condition considering the rest of the car. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these back on. Yeah, nice OEM stuff. Gotta love it. Look at that made in the USA. Huh. Shocking. Uh. So yeah, what I'm doing right now is just getting these guys back on. Just took off the other fender stuff. Uh, got the mud flap I'm gonna take off. This guy right there, a couple of clips, throw them onto that one. And then I'm also, I'm ready to wire, all cleaned up, ready to wire these guys. Just gotta undo them, I'd be glad because I can get these uh, parking light, the halos in the center resoldered, which I did on the other side as well. Uh, yeah, so there we go, update, coming in. All right, so what you see here is, uh, my before and after. Um, you get a pretty good idea. These are my side markers. 
And what you're about ready to throw back on. These are looking great. And I'm gonna keep going while I got sunlight and I'll take a quick video when I'm <clears throat> when it's a little darker out. Got the paint off the front of the windshield there. Off the uh, thing, but as you can see, I just pretend I have a great car. <laughs> yeah, but going around, looking good. Can't wait. All right. Now I was trying to find a good lighting for this, but it's not really coming across too hot. As you can see, I got the uh, pole right there. Orange City Clear. Coming across, I got the Halo. Halo. Alright, yeah. Uh, bumper's all back on. Tires are back on. It's back on. See, this guy looks like I wanted to get some of the sanding done on the hood. But that ain't working for me. How about it? I think it looks really good. It's hard to tell on camera, you can't really see, but you can see where I put the two cans of primer on there. I'm trying to flatten it out again. It's a pretty good shine for being. I just fell on my butt really hard, so I'm having a hard time concentrating. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Front end. I gotta sand. Sand and paint the center of the hood. Um, paint the center strip back to black. Maybe. Maybe the, uh, if I do that, then I'm doing the center vents black as well. But whatever. Ah, so I gotta do that. Paint the hood, paint the sides. Uh, still only have one can on here of this. So I think I'm gonna hit that with a really quick wet sand. Really quick wet sand. Uh, next time I get a day off here. The hard part about that is taping it off. Well, I guess I didn't do too bad of a job on that. I need to come back and touch it up in a couple spots. But, yep, there it is. Down. Done. I enjoyed this day. Got a lot.